why is everyone out this morning? Hey. All right, uh, it's Thursday, which as you know means market day, but also that I have like time to get stuff done in the morning. So we are going on an adventure. Today's adventure is find a wheelbarrow because Friday's adventure is going to be getting so much compost delivered and I need something to haul it with Friday and Monday. So hope you're along for the ride. Hit subscribe so you don't miss Friday's adventure. And I'm gonna stop recording so I don't die while driving. <laughs> Benefit of getting to Lowe's at before nine in the morning is princess parking. I'm like two seconds from the door. Let's go. and I killed it. So here are some of the specs that I love about this wheelbarrow, the reason why I went with this particular one. I was originally thinking of going with a wagon because I thought it would be easier on my back than my old wheelbarrow. Um, it would have four wheels instead of just the one, so it would be a lot more stable on my uneven ground. Um, but it turns out from a lot of the reviews that I've read, things like that, the wagon situation is really good for hauling things and items, but not necessarily for dirt and compost specifically because the dumping mechanism isn't all that great. Um, and that was something I was having trouble with as well. So I wanted to kind of upgrade that and not make it worse. Um, so I did a lot of reviews and found that this particular wheelbarrow has two wheels. So instead of just the one, um, it's a lot more stable. And then the wheels are kind of low and frontwards. So the center of gravity tends to be a lot better uh, for people like me who potentially have back problems with lifting and moving and all that good stuff. The other cool thing about this one is that the wheels, um, the way that they're situated, I don't know the physics of it, but it is the craziest like turn on a dime situation. It can turn in such a small amount of space. It's very maneuverable. Um, they also tend to go over rough ground really easily it seems. And on my farm field, which the wheelbarrow hasn't been out there yet, I just bought it, but out there the ground is crazy bumpy and there's dips and divots and everything. So that is definitely a plus. Another thing that I really like about this wheelbarrow is, although it could be a con, <laughs> the body is made of poly. It's, it's plastic, basically, so it's completely rust-proof. I try to keep my tools put away where they're supposed to be, but let's be honest, on occasion, they get left out in the elements, and so the fact that it's not going to rust is a good thing. I am a little bit concerned that it could crack or break, um, that it's not going to be as strong as a metal one. However, I'm a small person. I'm not hauling anything too, too heavy at any one time, so... I think it'll be able to handle what I'm able to handle, if that makes any sense. 
Speaking of handles, the actual handlebar is connected. So one of the things I loved about the wagon idea when I originally was thinking about going with that was the ability to not only push the entire mechanism, but to also pull it. And pulling seemed like a little bit of an easier scenario in, in some instances. And this thing can do both. It's really easy to push, as you can see in these clips I'm showing you now, but it also can be pulled, which is great. Um, Farming is definitely full of surprises, full of things you weren't necessarily anticipating. And so there are definitely situations where pushing is better, but there are also situations where pulling is the only way to get something where you need it to go. So I'm really glad that with this wheelbarrow, I'm able to do both. Finally, I love that this thing is lightweight and easy to move around. Again, I am a small person. I consider myself a strong person, but not Muscles McGee by any stretch of the imagination. So the fact that this thing was really easy for me to get up into my truck, really easy to get out, awesome for storage. Um, it does tip up on the side, so that makes it really nice for storage too. You don't have to take up the entire footprint of the wheelbarrow to store it somewhere. So definitely another plus. Um, all around, I just think this thing is going to be really, really helpful and useful, and I'm excited to use it around the farm. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe because you're going to want to see the next video I put out, which is going to take place tomorrow when I actually put this thing to the test. We're going to be moving tons of compost, and it should be a really good time. So definitely stay tuned for that. Thanks again for being here. Comment down below what kinds of videos you guys would like to see next. And in the meantime, go grow something. Good boy, can you sit? Good boy. You wanna go for a ride? <laughs>